My name is Pedro. I'm the co-founder and CEO at Advex AI. Advex is unlocking AI by solving the data problem for manufacturing, the world's most important industry. Hi everyone, my name is Pedro. I'm the co-founder and CEO at Advex AI. At the booth is my co-founder and CTO, Kossum. Advex is unlocking vision AI for the world's most fundamental industry, manufacturing. This is a high voltage connector. It's in every single one of your cars. Now imagine, in an instant, it overheats, explodes, and turns your car into a death trap. That is a nightmare scenario for you and I. And for the manufacturers that are creating everything that we use, this is lost customers, shattered reputations, and even the collapse of the business. Fortunately, this doesn't happen very often. And that is thanks to the millions of human inspectors that the manufacturing industry has come to rely on since the Industrial Revolution. And I'm not just talking about these high voltage connectors anymore. I'm talking about over 10 million factories producing over a trillion critical parts every single year. That is 16% of the entire world's economy. But there's a problem here. The industry is used to slow workers, expensive workers, but now they're also leaving. These workers are abandoning their manufacturing jobs, triggering a critical labor shortage that is threatening global production. In the US alone, we're spending $1.3 trillion on this manufacturing labor, but the US Census is still predicting a trillion dollar loss because of this labor shortage. If you ask any large manufacturer today, their number one priority is tackling this labor shortage with automation. They're leaning on AI to save them, but AI is only as good as the data it's trained on. So when manufacturers realize that they need to spend years collecting all of this data, they get up, they leave, and they try and hire more humans. This massive amount of time spent on data collection is the number one reason why it's so hard to bring AI into the real world. The key to AI automation is in solving this data problem. And that is exactly what Advex does. Advex makes AI vision a no-brainer for these fundamental industries. We give them AI automation not in two years, but in two weeks. We're a team of researchers, industrial experts, coming from Google Brain, Scale AI, Qualcomm, and other industrial giants. My co-founder Kasim and I have sold companies, and we've built products used over 50 million times. Together, we are pioneering this new end-to-end -end approach to AI vision, where we first figure out what data is missing with advancements in representation learning, and then we create it with diffusion models. Generally speaking, we are leveraging generative AI to create the right training data for other AIs so that you don't actually have to collect it from the real world. Now, let me show you how this works. One of our automotive customers wanted to make sure that their car parts were not defective. Over the next two weeks, they collected all the defects that they had, and they only came up with 10. Switching to my demo now, you can see on the right is a model trained with just those 10 images. It's really not detecting much of anything. To make a reliable vision model, they need to collect hundreds of samples, which would take them at least a year. Instead, they used Advex, and with just those 10 images, our platform created 200 synthetic images in just two hours. On the left now of the demo, you can see our Advex platform trained on all of these images. It's not working. We're lagging a little bit here, but it'll get there. Sorry, the Wi-Fi here is annoyingly slow. When it comes up, you'll see that the Advex platform performs extremely well.
tell us a little more about what we're going to see? Yeah, so you'll see a model, there we go, trained on all of these advex generated images. And you can see it's performing much better. And we can even add some complexity here. We can add a part with more than one defect. Now, what we can do live is create another defect. It's really lagging. There we go. You can see, instead of two defects, it's now detecting three. And across this situation, we perform significantly better than the industry standard. Back to my slides. It's not just this automotive factory that is working with us. Seven of the world's largest manufacturers already use Advex, and we have over 25 customers in our wait list. They start with just one line at $30,000 per year, and they quickly scale to over 10 lines, up to 25 lines, getting to the high six figures. Advex is creating the central nervous system for global manufacturing. If you want to join and help solve one of the hardest problems in all of AI for the world's most fundamental industry, join us at booth H9. Thank you. Thank you, Advex AI. Judges, who has a question? Go for it. You don't have to raise your hand. Oh. How is collecting all these images better than having live computer vision assessing every product coming through the line? That's a good question. So creating these images actually enables them to create these computer vision models that will then assess all the products in the line. So they want that, exactly, having a, a camera that can look at every single product. But in order to have this automation, the intelligence that tells you this is defective, this is not defective, they have to collect all this data first. And that's where we come in. Um, thank you for the presentation. Very cool. Can you talk a little bit about your um, sales and implementation process and what is your ICP? Not asking from an industry perspective, but from a size, scale, and competency perspective in terms of being able to um, implement this at scale? Do you mean for our customers yeah. or for ourselves? Oh, for our customers, there's already leading products in the market that are the actual cameras. What they're missing is the data. Now, those cameras are being used by automation engineers, even just floor workers. So it's an extremely accessible thing that these people can use. But what they're missing is they have to wait six months, a year, to collect that data. And so we scale by them implementing these cameras in different factories, and they use our software on top of those cameras. Many large multinational manufacturers, the data science teams have a not built here mentality. So of the seven customers you've won today already, how did you overcome that mentality? And what are you doing to make the skit constituents of the actual business owner and the data scientist team all collectively happy? Yeah, that's, that's a very good question. They're, they're not gung-ho on, like, let's put generative AI everywhere. They really need this to work. A 5% error for them is, is very, very high. And so the key that we have found to their hearts is around, here is a real POC on your real parts showing real model performance improvement. And we put that next to an ROI sheet that we have co-developed with them. And so we show exactly, this is how many parts you produced before. This is how many after. This is how much money you're saving from creating uh, the actual parts and not having to throw them away. And putting that POC showing those early results next to the ROI that shows them you're going to get 5x your money back in six months, that's what makes it happen. So, so kind of as a piggyback to Lisa's question, when you think about the continuity of ROI, that's a discrete case. We have a before and after, we compare them and we make an adjustment. Mm -hmm. How do you make sure it's ongoing so that way you're not constantly having to serve customers directly like that? Yeah, that's a good question. The way that we operate our sales process is by proving to them empirically that when you use Advex, you're going to see significant gains in model performance. And in the early days, we did receive pushback. People were skeptical of synthetic data, especially synthetic data that's coming from generative models like Diffusion. 
Um, but over the course of the year that we've been working with our customers, starting off from manufacturing, but also going into other industries, what we realized is that at the end of the day, what our customers really care about is the model performance, not necessarily how good does my data look. And we've been able to tie in this key metric that actually helps them with their main task of automation and tying that into what we're selling at Advex, which is a reliable computer vision model that can successfully automate factories. And to add on to that, it's really, it's not just one stage at the beginning. In manufacturing, it seems structured, but things are changing all the time. A supplier is going to give you a new part, and they're not going to tell you they changed that finish on the part. Or your belts are going to rust over time. You install a window here, now the light is coming in in a different direction. That ruins your vision model. So these things are always changing. And every three to six months, customers come back and say, here's five images of my new situation. Let's update this model. Can you talk to us about the business model? How are you guys pricing it? You said you have seven customers already active and 25 in the pipeline. What's the entry point into getting into with these customers? Who's buying it in the org? Yes, it is the folks in charge of automation, folks in charge of quality. Those are the main ICPs. And we meet them either through these partnerships we have with leaders in the space that have the cameras and they want to sell more cameras, or we meet them at conferences. And we have this paid POC where they get to see, OK, here's 100 images, a small amount, but it proves to them that the images are actually useful. And then they scale. The first entry point is usually $30,000 on average for one production line. And for example, they'll put this in Mexico. And then one of our customers, they called us from China. And they said, my China factory also has this problem. Can we scale it there? So for us, it's about getting in with just one line and expanding, adding up to 10 lines in just six months. And just to add on, is there like a pilot that you do with them in order to prove it? Or do you guys have to do a considerable investment up front in order to get someone started? The, the pipeline is the exact same. The only thing that changes from one customer to another is the data they upload onto the platform. It's a paid pilot that we do, and then from there we scale it. All right, give it up for Advex AI.